Welcome back to our Let's Play of uh, Vampire. Did they start me outside again? No, I'm actually inside. Cool. Uh, sort of. When we last left off, I had pretty much finished talking to everybody that needed talking to- No, I'm pretty far away. Damn it. Pretty much everybody that needed talking to. So, uh... So now... I have to, uh... Oh yeah, I was going to decide whether or not to... Whether to give that letter to, uh... Mortimer or to his mother. And I decided on giving it to Mortimer himself. I'm not sure if it, mat if it really matters or anything, but, uh... I think they're this way. But yeah. I'm going to give it to Mortimer. Where are they? It's Pippa. McRoy. Riddick. There's Mortimer. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. I have retrieved your letter, Mr. Goswick. I can assure you that nobody read it but me. Thank you. <clears throat> this is for you, then. For your help. And for your silence. I think you should talk to your mother. It would be good for both of you. Thank you, Dr. Reed. <clears throat> I'll think about it. Now, please, let me be. What do you give me? 100 shillings. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful, I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. Okay. I'll let you get some rest, then. I'm all right. Don't waste your time with me. All right. So I think we're pretty much done uh, talking to people around here. I'd actually get this guy right away. No, I, I'm at four, so I can mesmerize most of these people. Or is that my, uh... No, that's just my regular level. Anyway. Again, I have two, uh... That's the night in bed. Find your office on the second floor. Maybe you always need the words together. to calm the children, Helen. As for me, what a blundering idiot. I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's find our way to the second floor. Don't mind if I do. Crumpled letter. Didn't let me look at it. Uh, about Milton Hooks. Hmm. Well, so... So it looks like Milton and Pippa are both uh, are both uh, extorting people. Let's see if we can talk to Milton about that. I was reading that right, right? Ah, look at those people in the background. Milton. Runs rackets on some of Pembroke's patients, yes. Anything to say for yourself? 
if anything. Might not be. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Trying. Tell me why you're extorting money from some of the patients here. If a patient wants a bed, he'll have to pay me a little fee. That's all. Where did you get the idea for such an immoral scam? Funny you should ask. The first time it was from a patient who bribed me to get a bed. It's only then I realized I could make a fortune. Hmm. Admit it. Nurse Hawkins is more than your lover. She's also your partner in crime. Of course she is. How else could I tell which bed is free? I need to know that. Have you no shame? Don't you see the city is crumbling down? Today people are ready to pay to get a hospital bed. Tomorrow we may be fighting for food. Guess. Doesn't make it right. Do you know that Nurse Hawkins is thinking of leaving the hospital? That's not a surprise. We've talked about it already. Does it not bother you? Sometimes I think she may be right. We should run away while we can. The question is, where can we go? Where is it safe? Hey, right. we've done all we can with him. So yeah, my man is mesmerized level two. Goodbye, Milton. Level one, he's level two. Alright. You guys are assholes, but I'm not gonna kill you. I should kill you. But I'm not. Be grateful. I'm not gonna suck you dry. Okay. Most productive uh, romp through the uh, hospital. Wish I had more supplies. Oh, here's some supplies. Small bottles. anyone else up here? It don't look like there's anyone on the second floor. Not now. Okay. That's locked. That's Dr. Swanson's office. That's not even available. Used hexaw. of the survivor, right. Okay. Talk to Thomas. Also loot these uh, drawers. So cheap bottle of gin and a small bottle. Tippet, Strickland, and Ackroyd. It's locked, all right. Dr. Reed. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Mm -hmm. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. That's true. It's locked, all right. I need a lockpick. All right, let's talk to uh, What's-His-Face really quick, and then we'll uh, rest up in my office. See if there's anything upstairs. No. Rest in bed for the night. Where is he? Um, uh, still have that unknown person. What's up, buddy? Good evening, Mr. Elwood. 
Evening, Dr. Reed. Why do you feel responsible for the injury, Thomas? What really happened? I wasn't disfigured by any German shells. It happened during my leave. It was an accident. Uh, what really happened? Tell me what really happened then. I went with a whore in Rouen. Dead drunk I was. The hotel was a shithole. There was a fire that night. Did you start the fire? Were you trying to avoid going back to the front? That's not uncommon, you know. No. It's just that I was asleep when the flames reached the room. The girl was long gone. Bitch never woke me up. Left me to burn. I know the answer to this question, but... Why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back disfigured by the Germans. And it's another to get injured in an accident that could have happened to anybody. But the suffering continues. Reconstructive surgery has been very successful for some soldiers. I don't want to wear a bloody mask for the rest of my life. I'd rather stay here and just be forgotten. Okay. I didn't know you could fail hints. Why do you feel responsible for the injury, I, uh, Thomas? What again? really happened? I wasn't disfigured by any German shells. It happened during my leave. Mm -hmm. It was an act. Why look on Recons I don't want to. Oh, no. Why look on Mars? Reconstruct. I don't want to. No, nope, I can't go back. Okay. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Yeah. Damn. The pain. It's there again. I can't reload, can I? I don't think I can. I'm pretty sure it auto saves. But we could try. I didn't know you could fail in those. I honestly didn't. If I did, I would have been more uh, careful with what I said to him. start me off. Probably standing outside of the hospital. Damn it! I just realized that. It's okay. Where am I? Oh, I'm in my office. Maybe there's still a chance then. Probably not. But I'm gonna check anyway. I check over here. That's Dr. Swansea. There's another thing that goes upstairs, but it's probably not a real door. Second floor. Yes, I can tell that it's the second floor. Thank you. Let's see. Good evening, Mr. Evening. Why do you... I wasn't... Why look on my... Reconstructed... I don't want to... Nope. Okay. 
That's okay, Goodbye I'm not going to feed off of him anyway. Fear and disgust on every street corner. The day he the most brilliant minds in London at Pembroke. Damn. Well, there goes my perfect record for this game. Supernatural speed, mesmerism. So, apparently, we prefer to call ourselves Econs. Blood awareness. Else I can loot from my own office. Shillings, aluminum powder. There's my bed. We fill all my guns. Workstation. The flower's dying. It needs water. Oh, do I have water? Still can't make anything for tea. For fatigue, not tea. These only produce glass vials. Does a bit more damage, but more takes more stamina. So, not really use, not really worth it. All right, let's rest up. Uh, more health, more endurance, blood capacity, blood absorption from a bite. Plus two thousand. I want this shield. How much does this shield cost? Six hundred. Costs nothing. Prepare yourself for damage. You're familiar with the hardness ability. This ability uh, to protect the vampire from direct damage. Unfortunately, does not stop them from being grabbed by enemies. You can hurt my body, but only if you can catch me. Okay. Tactical. Spring. Get this too. Let the shadows become invisible to most enemies. Moving in this state will drain more stamina. Connect to the shadows if you dodge or if you attack or dodge when your stamina is empty. Hmm. I might get that soon. For now, let's increase my uh, blood capacity. Let's increase the uh, amount of blood absorption when I bite. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, 
I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Okay. I have 300 experience points. I could probably, uh... The flower's dying. It needs water. You said that last time, but there's no water. I mean, here's a water... Can I get a cup? One of my, one of my bottles? Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... Uh... Sorry. There's nothing here. Some of the patients won't last the night without them. Honestly, sir, I'm beside myself. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drug shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Okay. So, let's see how everyone's doing. He's still suffering from fatigue. So we got a uh, mission, and you can bet that there's going to be uh, uh, trouble in that, in the old board. This is a horror game, sort of. It's locked. Check the bin. Screws and grease. What's this? Quarantine influenza. So let's check out here and then we'll head inside. Finally uh, continuing on with the mission. Oh, this is where the uh, skulls were. I am level six. Looking for antiseptics in the old morgue, <clears throat> where likely some unsavory characters have set up shop.
I saw Shadow Worm pass. Definitely something in here. There's plenty of glass vials. Doesn't really help me. I don't have anything to put into the glass vials. Just unlock the door. Sorry. Didn't mean to subject you to another loading screen. Sorry, two loading screens. Because now I'm going to have to turn around and go back in. <clears throat> I'm just worried about uh, how strong I'm going to be because. Well, I'm sure this is the first. Because this is the first place, I won't have to uh, face too strong of enemies. Come on, you can load. But we shall see. Shield is R2. Gotcha. I don't know what's with the dramatic pause before it fades out. Hideouts are located are often located in isolated places. Find them to unlock new safe places to rest. Come on, I only have a few more minutes left. Maybe a kill the scold or two. like a lot more than five shillings, but whatever. Alright, I guess we're going upstairs. Morgue is a big place. Sturdy, sturdy blood sample, a cigarette case, and some uh, bullets, <clears throat> and some shotgun shells. All right. Well, got a bottle of alcohol. Now, if we find a workbench somewhere, we can. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. Oh, there we go. So we got... What? Oh, hi. Alright, so we're going to call it here. 
when we come back, we'll, uh, have a really sturdy blood sample. We'll, uh, explore the, uh, morgue. It's locked, all right. See what we can, uh, find, what treasures, if we can find the, the items that we need. Uh, till next time, though. Oh. Got the, uh, uh, whatever you call it, however you pronounce that. Uh, until next time, though, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a like, share, comment, subscribe. Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. Okay. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. Man, I'm almost already, uh, I'm already two-thirds done. All in the closing. Okay, so, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a like, share, comment, subscribe. It always helps me out. And as always, have a good day. And take care.